I'm in Blender 2.93 and I've created this simple character, an armature. So I'm in the animation tab and I make sure that I see the armature and the mesh itself. By default, you'll see the dope sheet, but I've changed to action editor and I've created this walk animation and you can see all the keyframes here for the armature. This blend file actually has loads of different animations and I only want to export a select few. So I switch to the non-linear animation tab and then all of these stashed animations here, I select them all and delete them. I just want to throw in a caution though before you delete those uh, from the NLA editor and that's to make sure that this little tick box here in the shield icon is marked for all your animation clips. Otherwise you risk deleting the animations if they're only stored in the NLA editor. So make sure you have this little shield icon ticked for all the animations you want to ensure that you always have saved. And then I click this little down arrow to add only the walk animation. I also want to add the idle pose or the T pose. So I drag out so I get this second window here so I can enable the dope sheet again and switch to the action editor. And then when the armature is selected, I can select a pose or animation. And then at the bottom here of the NLA editor, I click this little down arrow to add the T pose into the NLA strips. And now I've got both the walk animation and the T pose animation there. Okay, it's time to export. So I select the mesh and I shift select the armature and I go to File, Export, FBX. A lot of the times I save my FBX files straight into the Unity Assets folder of my project. So in this case, I navigate to my Unity project and I go into the Assets folder, uh, create a new folder there that I just called FBX. And then I save it and it'll appear automatically inside of Unity when I go back to Unity project. Make sure you have selected objects only selected and then apply scalings should be FBX units scale. And then you have to set the forward to Y forward. For this to work, you should model the character so it's facing forward in the Y direction. For the animations, I only export the NLA strips and I have all actions deselected. Then we click the export FBX button and we alt tab and switch over to Unity. In this clean project, uh, I've just deleted the example assets and uh, I select the FBX file that I imported and I disable the material. I usually add that manually. I drag to import my textures and for this material, I'm using a base map and also an emission map for some lighting effects. I right click and then I also create a new material and then I drag my two textures, my base map texture to the base map slot and then I enable emission and then I drag my emissions textures for the lighting effects into the emission slot. Now we can drag the FBX file from the project into the hierarchy window and then uh, that imports the mesh. We are gonna add the new texture so I have to expand the hierarchy of that uh, object that we just imported and then we drag the new common material that we created onto the mesh itself. And we've actually got a problem now that we've imported it because you always want a character to face in the blue direction or in the, the Z direction, which is Unity's forward direction. And in this case, it's actually rotated incorrectly and it's facing in the green direction. This is a common problem when you've gone from Blender to Unity in the past. Select the FBX file in the project and then go to the Models tab and click Bake Axis Conversion and hit Apply. Now we've got the correct rotation. It's zero for the object itself and all the sub transforms. And the object is facing in the blue direction, which is really important. We want it to face in Unity's forward direction. If this didn't work for you, rewind this video and watch the beginning again and make sure that you've modeled your character facing in the green direction in Blender, Y forward. And when you export the FBX files, make sure that forward is set to Y positive. It's easy to miss that one. That was really it for this video, but if you want to stick around for another couple of minutes, you can watch when I add the animator component here, and we're going to make sure that the walk animation that we imported is actually working correctly as well. To do that, I'm right-clicking down in the project window again, and I create a new folder that I call animator controllers. I want to keep it tidy. And inside this folder, I'll right-click again, and I'll create a new animator controller. And this is going to be controlling the animations of this character. So I name it Mo Eskimo, same as my character name, and then I double click on it to go into the animator window. 
And now we can just drag the walk animation in from our character here into the animator window and it'll name the animation correctly. It won't loop yet, but we'll fix that in a moment. Then we have to drag the new animator controller that we created previously into the controller of the animator component. A lot of <laughs> animator there. We also need to create an avatar. So go back into the FBX files and go to the rig tab and under avatar definition, select create from this model and then click apply. I'm using the generic animation type here because I don't really need the features from the humanoid rig. Humanoids are used if you want to rekey animations for different character sizes or use inverse kinematics. In the animator component, we select the newly created avatar. And when we press play now, it's going to play the loop cycle only once because we haven't set the animation clip to loop yet. So let's fix that. And to loop the animation, select the FBX file root here in the project and go to the animation tab and then select the clip that you want to loop and tick the loop time checkbox and then hit apply. You can actually change multiple clips to loop time before you hit apply because applying it takes a little while. So I could save you some time. Now we've got the character walking here in Unity, but it's not really moving forward. And I'll have to cover that in a separate video because the animation topic is a little bit lengthy there. So at least uh, now you know how to import a character and get the correct rotation so it's facing forward in the blue direction and how to get the animation up and running correctly. And if you want to learn how to model and animate these type of characters inside of Blender, make sure that you check out my channel history because I've had a lot of videos in the past of how to model and animate them. The tutorial tier on my Patreon page, patreon.com slash can download this Unity project. Thanks a lot for watching and take care until next time. Bye for now.